So I am down here at the range with a black powder billiard ball cannon. This thing shoot billiard balls as well as seven and a half ounce Coke cans fit perfectly inside. Now these were sold by Coaches Club Cannons, but you can no longer buy them from them. And the machine shop that makes them is probably going to be taking them over. I'm gonna be discussing more about that in a follow-up video at the end of February. But right now, I don't believe there is a place you can actually purchase these. I grabbed one of the last ones available. Again, more about that in February. But we are gonna be trying out this cannon for the first time. You put the fuse right here in the back. You fill it with about two ounces of powder, drop the projectile in, and my dad actually welded up this carriage for me, and it works out perfectly. He put everything together. We just finished it up today, so now for the maiden shots out of the billiard ball cannon. This should be fun. We even may take a shot at this car over here, so you won't want to miss that. Let's get to blasting with this black powder cannon. Since this is the very first shots on camera, I've cut the top off a seven and a half ounce Sprite can. We're gonna fill it with duct tape and just do more of a wadding shot to see what it sounds like and what it does. And then we're gonna step it up, even shooting a steel ball bearing and a billiard ball at that car. So when my dad made the carriage, he made these bolts up here that loosen it up and it almost goes completely vertical. You'll load two ounces of powder, which is roughly a quarter of a cup of a black powder substitute. I had a bunch of this lying around for muzzle loader. You'll pour it in, then you'll put the projectile in after you put the fuse in, and then fire. But let's put that fuse and projectile in and see what it does. So we have the fuse in there. We've got the can right here with a little duct tape. You can press it in. You want to try to keep your hand away from the muzzle. And these toilet brushes are the perfect size to clean it out. But let's steady this out, lock it down, light the fuse, and blast into like a water jug with just the wadding and see what it does. So that first powder burned too slow. I've got a different powder. We're gonna give that a try, but I'm pretty excited. So that worked out good. It was about a half a powder charge. It's just a really lightweight can in there. Time for some weight and a full powder charge with a billiard ball versus the car. Gonna get the car in position to shoot it with the cannon. This should be fun. Uh, get it lined up. It's actually moving pretty good. I love this little Toyota. So we are now going to load the billiard ball up and shoot at the Toyota. This should be good. We'll shove it down there, making sure we keep our hands away from the muzzle. Pack it in there real good. Line it up and fire. That was absolutely crazy. There's pieces of the billiard ball and a massive hole in the side of this Toyota door. It is huge. The billiard ball disintegrated um, and just blasted apart. So that was two ounces of the black powder substitute and the cannon itself is still smoking. This thing packs a punch. Wow, that is awesome. So that was absolutely awesome. And you can see weight is the key to hold that powder in to get a good burn and a good detonation. So we are going to be doing a chain round inside the can to give it more weight. And we'll see what this does. So the next shot we're doing is a chain round. So that's a chain wrapped up into this can. We're gonna place it in and hit the side of the car. Let's see what happens. There is just smoke covering in the air and a massive hole in the side of the car. That is some insane damage. The cannon kicked back to the side, but my dad's carriage is holding up perfectly. That is wild. Look at that damage to the side of the car. That is crazy. Pry the door open and it actually punched through the door and did damage internally. That is insane. The chain is inside the car. It made it through the door. It is still hot. So the chain shot out of the cannon, went through the door. That is not a joke. Guys, subscribe to the channel. That's all I had time for today, but we're gonna be shooting so much more out of this cannon. We're even gonna be shooting a running engine with this cannon. So subscribe to the channel, you won't wanna miss it. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.